The Mansion Haunted. The cast booming. The movie? Uh, not bad. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time to make another movie based off of a ride from Disneyland The Park that's based on a uh, person. This is the second attempt in making a movie based off of this property. The first time, of course, being the legendary infamous film with Eddie, Eddie Murphy uh, way back when. That one was just um, okay. That one was solid. And I think this one is a, it's a fun time. It's a very fun time. I think the best use of this movie is to see this as a gateway into horror for a younger audiences. I think if you go through that lens, it's absolutely perfect, right? If I had a kid, right, little Tommy, and little Tommy wanted to get into some horror movies, but I was like, little Tommy, uh, you're stupid, you're way too young, I'd show him this movie. It's a great movie for that. It's good in those regards because it takes itself seriously, but not absurdly seriously. I think everything the movie tries to do, it does pretty decently. I don't think it pulls off anything spectacularly, spectacularly. That's the word. But I think it is pretty solid across the board. The humor, solid. The scares for a younger audience, they're solid. The performances are actually pretty good. I'll give them that. And I was actually pretty surprised on how they did the whole themes in this movie. I think they did it in a way that is mature, but it is accessible for a younger audience. And I think that that's important to make a adult concepts, adult themes manageable for a younger audience. And I think it did that really well. It has a lot of interesting things to say about grief and the characters all do a really good job of complimenting that. Lakeith Stanfield is an absolute all-star. I love this guy and he's like the best part of this movie. As is Owen Wilson who kind of just plays the same Owen Wilson guy who like you see all the time but he's a funny guy. He brings some humor to the movie good stuff. In fact, all the characters are pretty funny. It's not like there's one big comic relief character because they all kind of have their moments. In fact, the only really character that is more serious is Madame Leota, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and she's not in the movie that much. I thought Danny DeVito was great, Tiffany Haddish, Rosario Dawson, and I don't know the kid's name off the top of my head. I'm gonna put it right here. He was pretty good too. The theater I had, while a little annoying, they were laughing the whole time. They were cracking up. This one lady behind me who I was sitting in line to get my popcorn, right? I I'm not scooping the popcorn. I'm like, popcorn, please. And she was like, oh, are you here to see Haunted Mansion? And I'm like, a weird thing to say, lady. Just, I'm um, just sitting here getting popcorn. She was like, well, well, uh, it's my second time. Don't want to brag, but uh, it's pretty good. I think if I had to make a few complaints with this, I think that... I'm not the biggest fan of all the CGI ghosts and things like that. I like, you know, I'm always going to like the more practical things. And while a lot of these ghosts are, you know, it's like a regular dude, but with an effect, like a little, like a little ghost effect on him like this, right? Well, that's kind of the case. We do get a lot of CGI ghosts and things like that. I'm not the biggest fan of that. And the Haunted Mansion, right? The thing about Eddie Murphy's movie that I liked it felt like this big Victorian, like epic style mansion. This is like just a series of hallways and then one room. It should be called the haunted, the haunted room because like, it's not the mansion. Realistically, I think the whole movie takes place in like two or three rooms. You never, you never get that scale of like, I'm trapped in this thing. And even when they do try to show that, I wasn't a fan of how they did that. Also, the movie runs a little long. I think you could have cut off a good 20 minutes of this movie and it would have been perfect. But in general, I'm gonna keep it real brief. I thought the Haunted Mansion was a fun time. It's nothing spectacular. It's not a horror movie for people who are fans of the genre, but for people, I went with my mom to see the movie. For people like that, for kids who aren't into horror, I think this is a good way to get a message about grief that the horror genre tackles really well normally, and it tackles it well here too. It is a great gateway film for the horror genre itself. If you have someone and they're scared of horror movies, but like they still wanna, you know, get a little ghost action here and a little, little spooky action, this one's, this one's a solid choice. The cast is great, the direction school, the soundtrack is pretty solid. I think this is a fun time. I'm gonna give The Haunted Mansion a 6.5 and here it is on my tier list. More movie reviews all the time. New review tomorrow, probably, I think so. Yeah, there will be, sure.